So I wanna talk about this cheat code on how to be a better algo trader. And honestly, if you use this cheat code, I think you'll have amazing results. I've been using this for the past couple months and I'm gonna show you on my screen how it's made me a, a better algo trader in building better trading systems and making sure that when I run a trading system live with real capital, it has a higher chance of success, right? So as an algo trader, you wanna be better every day, right? Every day you wanna get a little bit better, whether it's 0.1% or 1% better. And over the course of the year and your future, you'll be a lot better because it'll compound all those you know small percentage gains, just like hopefully your returns as well. So today's cheat code I wanna talk about is when you're launching a trading system, when should you launch it, right? Should it be, you know, you develop it, you know, say you develop your trading systems, you, you know, you have a portfolio of trading systems, say here, sorry, let me pull this up. Uh, you have your portfolio of trading systems here. You know, you look at your back tested equity curve. Oh my God, it looks so good. Look at that up and to the right. Uh, you do your correlation analysis, say it, you know, passes all your metrics. You have this portfolio of automated trading systems. Um, you know, you generated the code for them. You're, you're starting to run them in IndoTrader and you're about to go live with them. And you notice that when you start going live, you lose money relatively quickly and it's not up to your expectations. That happens all the time. And here with this cheat code, you're gonna fix that a lot. So the problem, the major problem is that I, a lot of new algo traders rush. They rush to build trading systems. They rush to start trading them live, I would say. You know, building them and running them in a simulation or, or incubation is okay, but definitely rushing and trading them with live money is a recipe for disaster. You wanna take your time, right? Take your time. So that's the problem. You rush, you start trading live with a bunch of systems. You haven't really properly tested. Maybe you skip some steps or you don't know the steps. Uh, if you wanna learn more about the steps, see the links in the description below. But you rush to trade them live and then you lose money, right? And then you're like, oh man, this sucks. Like I just wasted all this time and money, I'm down. What a waste of time, I'm an idiot, all that sort of stuff. And the cheat code is you gotta take your time, okay? Here on this Excel sheet here, um, I have systems, all these systems I've launched uh, over the course of this year, uh, in my live trading portfolio. And, and these numbers here, treat them as hypothetical, but they're based on one e-mini contract. I trade on, on the futures market, so the basis is one contract. And you can see that obviously the bots that I've added, uh, bots, systems, whatever you wanna call them, are, are up just over $10,000 based on one contract uh, for the year, which is good. But the cheat code that I wanna explain here is all these systems, before trading them live, they had to make money for the last nine months, okay? So they need to be profitable for the last nine months before I start trading them live. And a lot of these systems I built last year, two, three years ago, and some of them only launched now, right? Uh, call them H, ACs. The system I built three, four years ago, and I just launched it this year because it finally had a streak where it made money in the last nine months, okay? From my testing, nine months seems to have done the best in terms of risk-adjusted returns. I tried one year, I tried six months, one quarter, uh, even one month. And I found nine months to be the best. Of course, depending on your portfolio, it could vary. But for me, nine months was the best. So any of my systems that I'm about to launch live in a real money account must make money um, in the last nine months. Either you could back test it or you could run it in SIM for nine months, whatever you want it to be. Maybe it's a hybrid of both. But they have to have had made money in those last nine months, right? And what I see the mistake is so many people, like I said, so many people rush to develop systems. They don't even know, they haven't even tracked the system. They don't even know if it's made money in the last nine months or six months or one month. And they just think because they developed it and coded it, it's, oh, it's gonna make a lot of money. It's gonna match the back test. And I'm gonna get, you know, this equity curve uh, just like my back test. And that's not the case, okay? Systems do decay. There is new data. It happens. It's, it's the reality, unfortunately. However, you can still build profitable systems that are still profitable even after some decay, or sometimes they even do better than the back test. And I found that that nine month kind of metric, that nine month check mark of, hey, the system has to make money in the last nine months before going live has fixed that. And it is my cheat code for my success. And I hope that it's gonna be your success as well. Success, that's my goal, uh, is to share these cheat codes with you, these, these glitches to help you be a better algo trader, okay? So what I want you to do watching this video check all your systems live or all your systems in SIM as well and see if they made money in the last nine months, right? Have they? 
Have they not? If they, they haven't, you probably want to take them out of your live portfolio. Uh, and if they have, you probably want to add them to your portfolio. Okay. And do this on a monthly basis. Every month, uh, check if they've made money in the last nine months or, or not. And then, you know, make decisions on your portfolio with that. But I found that to work the best. And it's, it's definitely worked for me uh, very well this year as well. So that's my cheat code. Hopefully you learned something. Let me know in the comments below other cheat codes. If you got some other cheat codes, I'd love to you share your cheat codes. Um, and if you're going to start using this nine month kind of rule, uh, you know, to, to trade your live portfolio, I think it'll help. Um, and once again, it doesn't have to be nine months. Maybe you do your testing. Like I would do a back test in 2024 and look at, okay, test the last nine months, last year. I, I've already done the test for myself, but the thing is I've tested with all my bots, right? So all my systems that I've developed, you may have developed probably different systems with, you know, different uh, rules and maybe eight months works the best or a year works the best. So definitely test that yourself too. But basically what I would do is, or what I did was I took 2023, right? So I got all the bots that made money in 2023, either for the last year, last nine months, six months, three months. And then I did, I think all the way down to one month, right? And then I tested them out of sample in 2024. Okay. So uh, if all the bots made money in 2023 for one year, then I put them in 2024, record the PL. Then the last six months, last nine months, et cetera, et cetera. And I found nine months to have the best risk adjusted return. But that's what I would do on how to back test them. And I'd also love to hear in the comments below if you do end up testing it, how many months worked for you the best? You know, was it a year? Maybe it was eight months. Maybe, maybe it was 10 months. I'd love to uh, get your feedback on that. But that's my cheat code. Hopefully it helps you. We'll see you next week. Peace out, guys. Bye bye.